Hi, my name is Jonas, and in this tutorial I want to talk briefly about making a damage indicator for a player. And for this, I will start off by making a texture for this. And I found this one uh, just searching for blood splatter. So I'll start off by showing how I can turn this into something workable. So save picture, uh, put this into my tutorial spot, and bring this up into Photoshop. this and for this I'll just make a few duplicates of this this and then I will make move these to the corners something like this and I can press ctrl T to transform this and rotate them a little, little bit um, maybe size them a little bit also if I want to but this looks pretty okay. I can spend a lot of time playing around with this. And then I'm going to merge these layers into one single layer. Not really needed, but anyway, save as and save this as a PNG and just overwrite it for now. Right. Uh, so I'm going to bring this new pattern into my uh, PNG, into my Meshes apparently. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna drag this out here. Uh, can I please drag it to the content folder like this? And I'm gonna make uh, use of a widget for this. So let's call this the damage uh, HUD and open this up. And on this, we'll just pre, uh, put a big image on it uh, with that um, blood splatter, oop, the blood splatter image. And I'll make sure to put this a little bit outside the screen, like this, so it takes up all the space. Anchor it to uh, size to screen, like this. And expand brush and pick our blood. Bladder transparency, transparency, something. And um, I'm going to start off by saying color opacity, and say the alpha should be zero. So it's completely invisible to begin with, indicating that our player hasn't taken any damage at all. So in order to get some damage going, uh, I'm just going to bring in um, a volume. Damage. It's called pain causing volume. This one, and for my content browser, I will find some file so we have something to look at, like this. Okay, so the pain causing volume is causing pain to our player every one damage every second, and you can tweak these uh, and play around with this. So let's say we get five damage per second this way so uh, let's open up our blueprint character blueprint um, and start implementing this so to start off with we need to spawn this um, this widget so we create widget we want to use the damage hub and since we're gonna uh, reference this again I will get a reference uh, save a reference to this call this the damage hard and give it the type damage hard also right so uh, once I've created it I want to set this variable so I can reference it come on okay and then I want to Attach to no, I don't want to attach it. I forgot what it's called. Uh, excuse me, one sec. It's called add to viewport. Sorry. All right. Um, let me also drag this one in here. 
Okay, so then now we have uh, the widget spawned on our screen, and every time we take some damage, we have this um, damage, any damage, why event, any damage, this event. And it has a damage uh, value here. Let's uh, make a hit point uh, value here. Health. We can. Um, do I have one already? Uh, let's call it load. Let's call this life. Then. And let's compile. And let's start off by 100 life. Right. So we want to get this one. Then we want to subtract float minus bonus float. Uh, this one. So this will give us our new life value. That's it. So this is not really needed anyway. Um, it just makes sense to have it. So let's uh, do something with the, um, with the HUD. So let's, whoops. So let's mix my space again. Damage HUD. Get a reference to that. And we have the image. Didn't get it. Give it a meaningful name, but this will be something. You will name it blood something. And um, from this, you will set capacity to something. And uh, every time you take some damage, you wanna um, add something to this opacity. So. Um, we could just take the current value and add something to it, but I want to interpret this and work on it. Uh, so I'm just going to add a new variable called um, damage hard uh, event. I think it's a good name. And this is going to be zero also from the beginning. So for this, I'm going to add just some random small number 0 0.2 and we'll play around with this later on uh, in one of the upcoming tutorials um, so we're adding a little bit to this opacity so every time we take damage we're gonna see this image uh, getting brighter and brighter so oh I forgot something right uh, th right now we're just adding something what we were not setting it um, this value so we actually need to set this okay so we want to drag this one down here and we want to drag this one down here of course like this good point and play so now when we stand in the fire every tick it gets brighter and brighter so this is not really of course working so uh, what we want to do is to uh, take every tick um, and we want to decrease this opacity a little bit. So let's make a little space for this. And um, we have a sequence here. So let's say um, we want to take the damage hard blend. And we want to get this. And we want to float inter this to zero. So the target is going to be zero with delta. Yeah, so we can use this one. And the interrupt speed, let's say every 0 0.5 second. Um, 0 0.5 speed. I don't know really what this means, interpolation speed, but this is kind of a slow speed. Anyway, so the new blend hard is going to be this. So we set this. Um, this is going to be the new blend space. And I'm just gonna copy this from down here. So we have this set opacity. This is gonna be the new opacity. So it's gonna be changing um, uh, for each tick um, down. But it, we don't want it to. to uh, well, this is gonna be okay. I think. Let's see how it works. So walk into it and we're taking damage is getting brighter and brighter if we step out of the fire it's gonna fade away 
So this is a super simple version of the player taking damage. Um, so actually I think I'm gonna um, cut this video for now and continue in the next episode. Hope you liked it and remember to like and subscribe for more. Thank you and bye.